we are at 4k for this endless run right we use ray as our main carry for the time being i think until like floor 2k and then we just swap completely to wormadam but the main objective for today's session is just to hunt as many shinies as possible i want to try to reach floor 5000 by the end of the stream so let's just jump in so all we're gonna do is basically just run away. We don't have to really fight anything. The only time we have to fight is if we're forced to. Um, Paradox battle basically is when we have to fight. We can't escape from wheezing because of the neutralizing gas. Jordan just subscribed. I also have a rapid ash too for runaway, which is pretty funny. Um, when it comes to fight like, like this, you can either neutralize their ability, but I don't have a mod that can do that. So the only way we can like really get out of this is literally catching it <laughs> kind of sucks but that just goes to show like if you don't have a way to neutralize their abilities that's the only way out of it dk says i made it to the stream let's go i love your videos dude you have been the best help getting into the game that's awesome man thanks for watching the videos how much you think one relic gold will give me one q wow we made it to the quadrillions all right first shiny of the day temporal ninja says hey ace first time watching the stream kind of bored and was wondering if you have any recommendations for a challenge I could do try doing a what is the Alola region try doing that generation for a, a challenge that one's tough and try it without any legendaries I've never seen that much damage from a Pokemon a whole nine damage <laughs> yeah it gets crazy when you get like late into the game they have protection tokens so each token reduces damage by 2.5 percent so if you do the math 481 times 2.5 percent no matter how strong your pokemon is you're not going to deal any damage so basically the metal burst is uh the meta for it how do you deal with trying to catch shiny pokemon in double battles either roaring one of them away or um flinching both of them and trying to kill one i like when i get shinies that aren't boss mon so i can just try to catch them with a pokeball like that Okay, he endured it. But the regen token is so annoying too. 20% health every single turn for them. This is why I needed the rock slide. Because I cannot hit Tapu Fini. So, let's see if I can roar you away. Punch you. Oh, there we go. Perfect. That's all we needed. Sharpedo. I'll just use my mask. Guys, I haven't <laughs> kept up with how many shinies we found. I want to say five or six. I lost count already. And I usually have like a, a shiny counter on my stream. I'll just catch you. I need some money though. We're broke right now. Do we want this guy? Who is he? Substrika as well. Bax. Oh my god. Our first rare Vibral. All right. Get in my balls. I'll use a Grable. I'm dead. Alright, 10 candies for a rare shiny. Wait, that's nothing. Oh, he's not a boss. That's why. Okay. If he was a boss, that would have been doubled. Because when you catch boss mons, you get two times the amount of candy. So that would have been 20 candies instead of uh, 10. But I'll still take that. Alright, shiny slow bro. But he is not a boss, so I'm not going to catch it. What's the command with all the shiny variants? It is Dex. All right, we got a Flygon that's uh, a rare shiny. I really want to get a, a new epic today. That would be so sick. Because you cannot catch Pokemon in double battles unless there's only one remaining, which is so annoying. They should just remove that. Such a dumb mechanic. What was my first red shiny? Oof. Do I remember what it was? It's a super old video. Alright, else. 
I'm running. Oh, one of the biggest things why I don't like hatching eggs too is, dude, it takes forever. Like once you get to this point in the game, you don't really need anything anymore. So you just want to skip through it. So I'm still waiting for them to implement a system where you can just like skip through the, the entire egg hatching. The only ones I really care for are like epics and legendaries. Easy clap. When's the Eternatus grind going to happen? What Eternatus grind? You think I'm going to use that guy on my team? Hell no. That guy takes up like my entire roster. Bro costs like 10 just by himself. And there's so much demand for like content in general. All right, Ursaluna. I missed my recording, so I'm going to refresh real quick. <laughs> Hold on, we're going to re-react to it. Oh my god, a red shiny Ursaluna. <laughs> All right, let me just catch that. I'm working on a candy video, so I need to showcase like me catching red shinies and blue shinies. And then this one is going to give us 40 candies. Oh my goodness, look at that, dude. 40 candies, 99 candies, what the hell? Make room for it? Sure. See ya, Rapid Dash. Hey, hey, there we go. All right, 10 candies. Let me record this real quick. Hey, there we go. I think a little bit more and I should be able to unlock the, the passive. Wait, I think it says it's a rare. It's 25 candies, so I might be able to do that now. I guess it really depends like at what stage you are in a game too, right? So like if you don't have access to like the full mechanics of the game then certain mods are a lot more like rare to encounter but we're at this point where i can just like buy any mod i want and then just hatch it for a shiny it kind of like takes away the whole purpose of it being rare like you you basically just play the game and farm candies and then you just buy the mod you want need a queen wow we're running into a lot of rare shinies today Whoop, whoop, whoop. Robska, I will catch you for your candies. Oh my god, what is our luck today? Another epic flygon. Wow. How do you get so many shinies? This guy's hacking the game. Has to be. Guys, we gotta get some more Massables. I think I'm gonna start fighting so that I can get like 10 Massables ready because I think I'm down to like three. Oh my goodness, it's a Shiny Gyarados. I will kill you for the Massables, unfortunately. See you later, Excadrill. We're gonna roar him away because he killed his teammate. Oh, we got lucky. We got paralyzed. <laughs> See, the game is telling us to catch it now. Say now you have to catch it. Yeah, I'll just use the mask ball. There we go. 4,500 done. And we haven't changed our strategy at all since we started. And it still works. Mr. Ace, I was wondering if you have any relationship advice. If not, could I have a kiss? What in the world? This is the last time I'm reading chat today. I think a Pokemon live stream is the last place you want to go to for relationship advice. I'll tell you that much. All right, there we go. That works too. Sometimes uh, the opponent will be on your team. And we got Adamant for that one. So I'll just take it for the two free candies. Bad news is late game money max out at nine quadrillion. So everything eventually will be the same amount. So I can't even afford another revive unless I reroll for one. That's the only way. See if I can capture you. All I got is master balls. I'm not even gonna risk it. Just capture mons you need, especially if it's a boss battle, you get double the candies. Dark Cry, I'll take you for the candies. I should record this and send it to Josh right now. He'll be so mad. Two candies would have took him probably like an hour to get. This is basically a two-part stream. Um, I did 500 floors prior from like 4,000 to 4,500. 
and then 4,500 to 5,000 is the second part of today's session. So I got to combine basically two streams together. But I think if you watch the video, it doesn't even feel like there's going to be a cut in between. It's going to feel like it's all one sitting. I wish they made it so you can hatch your eggs just by running away. There's no reason why it should be locked to um, battles because generally in like regular Pokemon games, right? You have to run around. You have to take steps to uh, hatch the eggs, correct? <laughs> We're gonna roar the right guy, and then we're gonna Dragon Energy everybody. And then I need this shiny Milotic. And off the bed, I'll be lurking for a little while. Good night. Yo, rest well, dude. Thanks for joining us today. Multiplayer Poke Rogue would be so hype. Yeah, like make it only double battles, but you can only control one of your mons, and then your um, co-op buddy controls the other mon. We're actually running to a lot of legendaries in today's session. But I want to get a new epic shiny if possible. Oh, you know what? I will gladly take that. Sometimes you guys just have to ask, man. If you just ask, they just give it to you. Look at that. A red shiny Lapras. That's beautiful. No way this guy just hacked the game and made a red Lapras spawn in. I will gladly swap that out for someone in my team. Ursaluna, see you later. Grim said, just got a red shiny Gudra as you get the Lapras. Nice, man. That's how we do it, right? Okay, Eternatus is definitely the easiest mon to go up against in Endless. Since it basically has Eterna Beam and then it's locked out of uh, the next move. So you can get like all your uh, chip damage in if you want to. Another Dark Cry, dude. Josh is gonna be so mad watching this video. Six candies already without even having to use Dark Cry. Max Mushroom for who? For Lapras? Oh no. I'm gonna keep getting that now, unless I can upgrade to a Mass Ball. Double Max Mushrooms. Can we see a triple? Oh, double? There we go. Is 10 luck enough if I have all the mons I want for the whole run, basically? Yes. That's more than enough. And then you can just find more shinies during your run, because um, you gotta basically fuse them together anyways, right? So eventually you have more room, and then um, you can just get like the rest of the luck during the run. That's what I normally do. Like if you watch any of my videos on YouTube, you can see like when I first started my endless run, I had like no luck and then progressively I just kept adding on to it over time and then every time I do like a new run, I always start with like higher luck each time. So like the first run, you start with like D minus or something, you find a few shinies and then your next endless run, you can start with like B or A and then over time, you'll get the mons you need that are just shiny and the mons that you're going to use during your team anyways. So that's like the best part. Like I've been playing Endless so many times now that I can just start with max luck with the team already set up. Okay, we're not getting hit with Parish Song, so I will take that. Usually I get hit with like Phantom Force or Parish Song and it's so annoying for this fight. My ace first time in a stream from YouTube, been trying to catch your streams for the last week but always just barely miss it. Well, welcome in. I'm glad you could join us for a stream today. It's good to see you. What's up Ultra Velocity? Thank you for the follow. Is Yveto good in Endless? Just got it as my first Legendary? I guess it really depends, right? What kind of egg moves you have? If it's your first Legendary in general, yeah. <laughs> You're straight, man. It learns uh, Oblivion Wing just on level up too, so you can just use that as your main uh, damage dealer. Do you still have no Shiny Legendaries? I have Shiny Legendaries, I just never hatched a Shiny Legendary. But yeah, just try it out, see how it goes for you. It doesn't hurt just to like, you know, use it and then see what you can like make adjustments for. Because my first endless run, dude, I got to like 1800 with just like a random guard chomp that I found in the wild. And I just made it into like a normal type mon. I just gave it like a bunch of silk scarves and just used body slam. And I didn't really have a strat back then. Are you going to do a dark cry video? No, I'm going to leave that one to Josh. He's been spending like, uh, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 hours. His last stream alone, I think was like almost 10 hours. If I, uh... Just randomly did a Dark Ride video when he's been trying to farm for it for like weeks now. Let's see. Yeah, his last stream was 8 hours and 41 minutes for Dark Ride. Part 3, by the way. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy has been grinding it. And then like two weeks later, he finally finishes the, the grind for it. And then I just put out a video. How dirty would that be? Just got a Genesect fuse of a Genesect. You love to see it. <laughs> 
I like that they keep it like based off of what mon that you find a fusion on. So if it's a legendary, it's always gonna fuse with another legendary, right? So like seeing it fuse with itself is pretty funny. Let's see how it goes. You only have dragon energy? That's basically all you need, dude. Dragon energy for Ray is so good if you just want to use it as a special attacker. And then if you had dragon dart, you could just use it as a physical attacker. So you're pretty much all set there. All right, steal my items, unless I steal yours first. I think throughout this entire run, do we even have one Mon with a, a mini black hole? Just Ray, which I hardly ever use now. It'll be nice if they made like an option to toggle the UI. So like, say if you make content for this game, you can just like hide the HUD and then just take a screenshot of what you need. You know how much more easier thumbnails would be, Sly, if we could do that, instead of just making it from scratch? <laughs> All right, I really want to leave it off here, but we're in space and this is my chance to run into a ray, so I'll play it out until uh, we leave space. Okay, it wasn't worth it. Do you have a second bigger channel that isn't about Poke World? Yeah, I have a tech company. Which honestly, I haven't been focusing on because most of my attention has been <laughs> towards Pokemon instead. Okay, so we're gonna do a new run. A lot of you have been asking me to try out Marshadow 